As you all know, I'm a master chef. It's a wonder why I haven't started my own restaurant yet. However, a problem I have when getting some culinary guidance from online recipes is that while I'm away from my computer, it keeps going to sleep. In fact, besides cooking, sometimes I need my computer to stay awake while watching movies, or keeping an eye on large downloads, or perhaps even giving long presentations. Of course, there's an easy way to do it, by going into your control panel and changing your sleep settings. But it's your boy Wilpo, so we're going to be making a program to turn our computer into an insomniac. <laughs> The reason these sleep settings are built into our machines is to save battery. Although today, to keep our computer awake, we need to give it a signal to stay awake. And just like how caffeine powers us... Does anybody need coffee? Yeah, over here. <laughs> it's time to caffeinate our system with Wilpo. Uh, using Python. I want this to be an extra portable program, so it's going to be using only what's in the standard library. For you nerds out there, these built-in libraries in Python are written in C, and the key driver of this program is C-types, which stands for C-compatible data types. Now there's two ways to keep the computer awake. One is moving your mouse, and the other is keyboard inputs. The problem with automatically moving your mouse is that it can interfere with your actual use, like if you are dragging an object, or misclicking, or while you are in game. And pressing a majority of the keys could also have unwanted interruptions in your activities. However, not all keys are physically mapped. Here my program is testing out which inputs map to which keys. In fact, you can actually achieve keys beyond the realms of what you have before you, such as function keys that go beyond F12. So for our program, we're going with F24 to be our innocuous awaker, and every 15 minutes, it will send a digital key input automatically to tell the computer to stay awake without you having to be physically present to interact with the computer. So with almost a hundred lines of code whipped up, we got our bot ready to go. If you'd like to know how to achieve hitting non-physical keys as well, I could make a tutorial on it in the future. Now all it has to do is run in the background, and it's time for me to get back into the kitchen.